Happy Friday, Kirsten and Christy. It is Friday, October the 4th, 2013, and guess who's in the sunlight? Me! Um, yeah, this is probably the first time I've been in the sunlight. Ever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> in the videos. And, um, it is gorgeous out. It is certainly not a fall, let alone October. This is crazy. This is crazy weather. I'm sweating up a storm right here. I'm out of my element, I think. But anyway, on to the book of the month, which is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, and I really enjoyed this read. Um, I didn't doubt that I would dislike it, but I just wasn't sure what to expect. Um, but I was thoroughly pleased with how it turned out. Um, one of the bummer things, I guess, about these book talks is sometimes I'm the last to talk. But I guess so are you sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes I don't know what to talk about since you guys talked about things that I wanted to discuss, but um, overall how it was written, I enjoyed it. It made me, and correct me if you guys don't think this way, but it seemed like multiple episodes of um, the Gilmore Girls and just the banter back and forth between uh, Lorelai and all the other characters, it's just, it's very quick and it's I don't know, it's quick pace and I enjoyed it. And it really is just, in a way, banter and fun and interesting conversation just back and forth. You know, um, equal parts, all, like, all characters have equal parts in that conversation. And I feel like this novel did that well. All characters had equal parts of the story, even though it's from Ari's point of view. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, besides that, I actually would like to comment on the whole role of the parents, which both of you have brought up, and I, at first I was confused by it because it's something you don't see that often, and I kept saying, well, that's not real, parents don't act that way, but, you know, maybe just because my parents don't act that way, or people that I know whose parents don't act that way, doesn't mean there's, there aren't pe uh, people like that, or parents like that, and I thought it was really nice to see that for a change, especially since, as one of you brought up, parents are usually dead in most stories, or just not there. And um, it was it was nice to see that they were very present in their children's lives, and that their children had positive outlooks on their parents. So that that was very nice. well for the most part positive, you know. Even though Ari Ari was trying to form that bond and understand his father, he still had a good understanding of him in a way and a respect for him. His understanding was in understanding that he wasn't going to understand him. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it makes sense in my head, but I don't know. I really enjoyed the parents and their relationships with their children. Um, Ari and Dante as a character were so fun to read about. I thought they were so adorable. And I don't know what about you guys, but it was a twist for me that Ari and Dante got together. I, I don't know. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I thought it was kind of going to kind of be like a boyhood coming of age together, not together, if that makes sense. But either way, I really enjoyed it. I thought they were so adorable together. So I, I loved just how they talked to each other. It was really cool. Well, not cool, but it was really nice to see that and see their relationship form. Um, besides that, I enjoyed being in Ari's head. I feel like there's not many characters in other stories like him. I feel like he's someone that is set in his ways by not having a way, if that makes sense. Like, he doesn't know where he's meant to be. He doesn't know where he's from let alone where he's going, and it, it, at first he was set and not, it, at first he was accepting that he had nowhere to go, and he was accepting that he wasn't going to get an answer from his parents about his brother or about his father being in the war, but through his relationship with Dante, he really is able to discover, man, discover different things, so... I enjoyed it overall. I, I mean, overall, I would give it a 4 out of 5 stars. I can't quite pinpoint why I took away a star, but, um, I don't know. 
I enjoyed it. So I guess that's all that mattered. I, I would recommend it. Um, besides that, I, I marked a few quotes that I I would like to read to you guys if I can refine them. Um, this was right after he was. I think this was right after he. Uh, excuse me, Ari um, had pneumonia. Was it pneumonia or the flu? I'm sorry, the flu. And his father was had just you know, was rocking him and was just about to leave the room. And it says, my, my father was still there sitting on my rocking chair. We studied each other for a moment. I, I lay in bed. You were looking for me, he said. I looked at him. In your dream, you were looking for me. I'm always looking for you, I whispered. And that made me tear up a little bit because in, it's pretty, well, it's 63 pages into the book. And already you could see the disconnection between father and son and I don't know it just made me upset and I wanted to see that connection that bond that relationship grow um, another chapter or excuse me another part is um, it's a little less than halfway through the book and Ari's talking to his mother and it says um, we're difficult that's part of your charm. She had an interesting look on her face and I recognized that look. My mom, she so sometimes resided in the space between irony and sincerity. That was part of her charm. I like that. I love his, I love Ari's relationship with his mother. That's, oh, that's amazing. And another one. This was when Ari and his father was going to Tuscan to visit his, well, his, his aunt had just passed away and he's going to, you know, deal with that situation and it says, I was so ashamed for having kept her on the margins of my memory. I was so ashamed. Just the idea of calling it the margins of my memory, just the ends, knowing that it's whatever you're thinking about is still there, still present, but it's on the margins, like a page and we're reading a book and it's like him writing in his journal essentially his diary that he kept throughout and you saw things his pages throughout I don't know I thought it was a sweet way to put it so those were just a couple of them there were more but those are the ones I thought you might like to read here well I'm going to have Earl who's standing in the background turn that off for me because I'm rambling again I will see you Monday Christy